Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with my personal Cricut challenge number 11. No, sorry guys, Sherlock's trying to uh, jump down on my desk. My kitty cat Sherlock here, I'll show you guys. See where he is? Say hi. Say hi. That's Sherlock. He loves to watch me craft and jump down on my desk in the middle of videos. <laughs> um, anyway, we're on number 11, and Misha from Scraps and Things won. Hey, Misha. She challenged me to do envelope art or mail art, and I was kind of excited because I've never done it before, so this is my first one. Um, I'll show you some of the things I used. I used the um, Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I used some Jet Black Stays On. I used a little bit of this Ditto Glimmer Spray and I uncapped it and then just used the nozzle and, and did some splotching. I used all three of the stamps in this clear stamp set from Stamp Abilities. I used this stamp here, the Sentiment. And then I used this really tiny, um, it's just like a flourish kind of stamp I picked up at a yard sale. And the Cricut cartridge I use to decorate my envelope is from the French Manor collection. So let me see if I can get my ruler because I forgot the size of my envelope. To make my envelope, I um, used vanilla cardstock and it measures about, mm, let's see, six and a little bit over six and a half by five and a quarter. And this is my envelope. So around the edge here, I used a uh, the border for the postage stamp. And that, if you have this cartridge, is on page 75. And it's this one right here. And I cut that out to the size of my envelope. And I was a little bit off, so all I did was, you know, I just cut it apart and then glued it on. And then I used my black um, jelly roll pen. If you guys hear that, that's Watson calling for Sherlock. That's my other cat. Um, and I just drew some like design lines around the postage stamp. And then I also drew dots. If you guys can uh, make that out all around the edges. I inked the whole envelope up with vintage photo. And then these are the three stamps that I used from Stamp Abilities. And then also I cut out this image here and this one for the from and to set. And that's from this same page, 70, or no, I'm sorry, 47. And it's this one right here, which is tag two. And then you would press your shift button in order to get that one. So I just sized them differently and put them on there. And then this little stamp in the corner, isn't that cute? Um, that is on... Let's see if I can find the actual, here it is. It's 47, and that's called the bird stamp. So this is the stamp, and then this is the bird that you put in the middle, and that's under your layer button here. And I cut that out at an inch and, I think an inch and three quarters. I cut them both out. And then what I did is I took my Jelly Roll pen and I just drew on squiggly lines like it was already stamped at the post office. And I just wrote USA and I think I have 44 cents down here. And then when I stamped on the pen and the glasses and the vintage ink bottle, I glossy accented them. So I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But I did that, and then I just did some ink splotches. And I have an error on my envelope. <laughs> um, I put the, the postage stamp border on the edge, and then I put my stamp on, not realizing that I did it upside down. You know, normally you would open it with the flap. <laughs> but I already, like, went through decorating the whole envelope till I realized it was upside down. So I don't think it's really a big issue. Um, and then on the back here, I cut this Cricut image out, and I don't remember what page that was on in the book. Oh, it's right here. Yay! Um, that's page 48, and this is the flourish right here that I cut out. And I did this, I think, at 3 inches in height. 
and I what I did was I glued it onto this flat part here and then I cut it and then I glued these on to match up with the cuts here so when it's sealed it'll look like one piece and then it opens like this and that's the stamp that I sentiment stamp on the inside it says some people strengthen others just by being the kind of person they are and then these are my little um, flourishes from that little tiny stamp I showed you and I don't know where it went but it's around here somewhere um, that's the one I picked up at a yard sale and I just stamped it on the corners and I inked this all up and did some splotching and and whatnot so this is uh oh focus there we go this is my first um, envelope art so I could actually send this one in the mail I did it so just in case I wanted to make a card to match and send it out I did it in a way that I mean this might might uh, get in the post office way but I think it turned out kind of cute so if you guys have any questions let me know next week um, I challenge Misha to do at least three Project Life type um, cards with Cricut images. Any theme and at least have one, one Cricut piece on each card. Um, the Project Life cards have to be three different sizes though. So if you guys want to join in and use your cutting machines and you do any videos, let us know. We'd love to see them. Below in the description box, I will post a link to Misha's channel, Scraps and Things 1, so you guys can check out her envelope art and uh, follow along and, and see what we're doing. And maybe you guys will, you know, do these projects as well and just have some fun. We're just trying to encourage each other to use our Cricut machines more often um, and so they don't sit and collect dust. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.